Right guys, welcome to another episode of A New Blends to Customize, and we have a bit of a weird one today, and it's going to be a very simple video, I wasn't sure whether I was even going to make this into a video, but I was like, you know what, why not, I want to get a video out before BFW WrestleMania, just to let you guys know that it is coming out this weekend, uh, night one will be on Saturday, may move it to Friday yet, and then night two will be Sunday or Saturday, so just go over to the, them videos, click Premiere, I don't think... Night 2 will be uploaded yet, but it will be over the next few days. So be sure to click the reminder on those to be there for the premiere in the chat and everything as we witness BFW WrestleMania Night 1 and Night 2. So uh, yeah, can't wait to finally release that. I'm actually straight after this video, I'm going to finish filming Kenny vs Apollo. And then I'll put that in the software, render it all, upload it, make sure there's no copyright stuff. And yeah, then we'll be all good. But yeah, in this video we have a random custom I really thought I wanted to make. Uh, the Yes, a uh, few days ago... I got this Lars Sullivan basic in a trade from uh, a friend on Instagram and he traded a few other things to me but today we're just going to be using the Lars and that Lars was pretty expensive online and I couldn't find it in stores obviously because of lockdown um, but uh, yeah I really wanted this and he decided to trade it to me so thank you you saved me a lot of hassle there uh, and yeah I basically just got this with the head scan and the hands because I'm going to be putting the hands onto this Bruno and I ordered this like last week I think and I really like the chest hair look and the forearm hair so we're going to pop the head off, and I know the attire is blue. Uh, this idea actually comes from Wrestling Hero Figs. I saw him do it uh, a few months ago. And even though it's blue, inaccurate, I believe he wore this at some point. But if not, this is what he's going to rock in BFW. Um, so he obviously needed a pretty big body. It was between this or a Brock Lesnar Elite. Uh, I think the Brock Lesnar legs would work a lot better, because I, I stupidly thought this came with the big boots, which he wears. But we're going to just have to deal with Lars Sullivan in small boots. Uh, I don't know whether to acetone this off or not. Um... But uh, yeah, so we're going to have to deal with this. It may be a bit short. Um, I mean, you know, they're almost the same size. With the, if I put the head scan on, it'll probably be a bit taller as well. And uh, yeah, we're also going to be popping the hands on here. Because I do prefer these two open hands. Even though the shader might be a bit different. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, it's not even going to be complete. Because I may get a Brock Lesnar really just for the legs. If I like this custom. And I, I don't know whether to add a knee brace or not. Uh, maybe I will in this video. We'll have to see. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to be, this is going to be very simple, uh, this video is pretty much just a reminder to go watch BFW WrestleMania this weekend, but hope you guys enjoy this anyway, um, so yeah, let's start the heating up process. I should probably address, yes I'm aware of Lars Sullivan's doings outside WWE and whatever, um, let's just pretend that never happened, let's just pretend Mitch Bennett doesn't exist alright, because I actually was a fan of him in NXT, and uh, yeah, I don't know when we'll see him again, but I want to make this elite anyway. Um, we'll probably only do one heat and up like with the hairdryer because we're only doing like the head swap and hand swap but we might need a second one so yeah let's just see how this goes. Should be long enough. Oh shit, I'm not the light. <laughs> Alright, now let's take the hands off. Easy. I've got to knock on the light and everything. Boom. Easy. Easy. Can we do this in one go? Many a do the hand thing. Yeah, laws. Do these work? I don't even know. Does that look right? I don't even know. I don't think these hands fit in properly, which is a shame. So I would have liked those big hands. Maybe I have some other open hands I can put on. Uh, right, so I looked through my uh, hand drawer and everything, and I couldn't find any that fit. Uh, I just wanted that like choking hand, you know, like what he does in matches, and uh, definitely for no um, other reason, no other dirty reason, but you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I think bigger boots would make this look a lot better. Uh, maybe a knee pad I could add, but I feel like that'll affect the articulation, and oh, I don't know honestly. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Uh, see, I've got these hands. Oh, I've got these hands spare now. Um, wish they fitted, man. This is gonna go in the crowd. <laughs> look at that. Epic. I, just, I wonder if I wonder if regular boots can fit on these, but nah. 
No way. Surely not. Don't know. Do you guys think I should acetone the tape off or not? Oh, I don't know. Decisions. Decisions. Uh, so I have a knee brace somewhere. I've got this knee brace right here. This was on my chamber, my DIY chamber, which I don't really use anymore. Um, but I think like a big knee pad with this on would look pretty cool. And, I, and while I've got that off, I can try and fit a bigger boot on. Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's just do it anyway, because this video is going to be short enough anyway. So yeah, let's just do that. So yeah, I've got the laws, I've got the knee pad, I've got the knee brace, and I know this is probably just a long shot, I'm pretty sure these don't fit, but I'm going to try and see if any of these boots fit on the right leg, um, so yeah, let's just do this. Right, so let's just see, nah, there's no way these are going to fit on here. Nah, well let's, let's put the knee pad on first actually. Wait, wrong leg. This leg, I believe. I wonder if a little knee pad would be better. I don't know. I mean, kinda, it looks a bit weird. It comes off easy. And this one. I don't know. Uh, come on, knee pad. So, guys, this is about 10 minutes of pulling and pushing. And no, not Lars, not Mitch Bennett, um, of putting the knee pad on, it was, yeah, um, I finally got it on with the knee brace, and I think it looks pretty cool, um, now I just need to put the boots back on, and we'll be all good to, uh, wrap up this video, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I want to see if these boots look good or not. Nah, they don't work. We're going to have to stick with the smaller ones. Do do. So guys, here is the Lars Sullivan complete and let me know what you think. I really like it. Um, I think it looks pretty decent even with the small boots. I think the height works. Uh, I'll just put him up against someone. Uh, I'm up against AJ Styles, I guess. You know, I think that's pretty good. Still pretty tall. Uh, if, I, if I do get some Brock Lesnar legs though, I will pop those on. And I think the knee brace really does complete it. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, if you want to see him in BFW, let me know. And uh, yeah, BFW WrestleMania obviously out this weekend. Be sure to go over there, set the reminders. I'll leave links in the description to the shows. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. And I'll see you all in the live chat at BFW WrestleMania.